think you could hit a moving target who just took three shots at you from a distance of 75 feet? Blessed are the peacekeepers. Hey everybody, welcome back to Garwell Defense. Uh, I saw today a uh, video that just came out of uh, Tucson, Arizona, and it shows uh, a really it's a horrible incident, it's a mass shooting that uh, involved a, uh, the, the suspect ambushing uh, fire uh, personnel responding to a fire. He shot several of them, killed uh, one of the fire captains went on to a different location about a mile away where there happened to be two EMT personnel waiting in an ambulance, and he ambushed them as well. Police responding, this particular officer was responding, and he was going to the sound of gunfire, and as he gets close to the suspect, the suspect takes three shots at him. The police officer gets out, and returns fire, striking the suspect. Now, I want you to pay attention to, number one, grace under fire. This officer is the epitome of grace under fire. And he did a fantastic job. And his ability to remain calm, take the shots, and then his situational awareness after the suspect goes down are all worthy of note. So let's take a look at this. There we go. He's bailing. That's the officer shooting. All right. Now, the man he shot was way over here, this little figure. That is incredible shooting at a moving human being. This officer deserves complete and utter respect and credit for making a shot at that distance. You can see he's looking around for any additional threats. All right, now that backup has arrived, he's moving up to the threat. Notice he doesn't make a beeline uh, to see what's happening, but rather he's going by a route that affords him uh, cover. So here he wisely gets behind uh, the vehicle before he fully exposes himself to the threat. And we can see that the threat is here on the ground. When you look at where his car was, and how he made that shot at a moving target who had just fired upon him. Really incredible uh, marksmanship. Unfortunately, this suspect has survived and is still alive, apparently, in the hospital. I say unfortunately because he left behind a wake of destruction and death, ambushing fire department officers, EMT officers, took in a shot at the police officer. I hope that this person gets the medical care they deserve, considering the way he ambushed two uh, EMT personnel and other first responders. So there you have it. All right, there's some great lessons learned here for the average citizen. 
this officer, number one, his marksmanship skills were really phenomenal. Clearly, this is not an officer who goes to the range every six months. So keeping up your marksmanship uh, skills is uh, an absolute must. Secondly, he maintained his composure in, under duress, and he did it amazingly so uh, to take, take those shots. He then maintained his composure after the suspect went down. And he waited for backup, and then when he moved towards the suspect, he took advantage of uh, concealment that was available to him. He didn't make just a beeline towards the suspect lying on the ground. He then got cover behind the vehicle, and when he was satisfied, he came out and uh, ultimately put him in handcuffs and rendered aid. Keep your marksmanship up. Keep your head about you. Play through scenarios in your mind how you would do things. My martial arts instructor, Chris Rank Burr, famously says, the, the brain can only go where the brain has gone before. Play out scenarios in your mind. How would you react to a situation? And then walk through it in your mind. And then God forbid, if you ever find yourself in such a situation or a similar situation, you will have already thought through some of the steps to take. And it's better to have a little bit of preparation than to get to the moment of truth and have none at all. All right, thank you. I hope that helps.